Let's go ahead and just try to pull that out and watch. Ooh, look at that. Okay, that's the yellow onion. I think it's still, still intact as well. The roots are coming out the top as well. That is absolutely incredible. these in the garden over here. So we got some nice roots started. Let's see, I think right over here might be a good spot. So what you want to do is dig a little hole. I'm getting the mulch out of the way first, getting down to the dirt layer, and just make sure there's dirt around the base of the plant. So, and then we'll push mulch back around like that. Let's do a couple here. So again, we'll just move this mulch out of the way. Looks like I have it pretty thick. Let's go ahead and just set those roots right down in the soil. And then, let's see, let's do another one right here. So we got a few more different stages. You can see here, put these right here, these three, and then we'll check on these as well. A couple weeks. Remember this one is the most recent one right here on the left. Let's see if that one has any problem. I don't want to cover up the stems. So keep those stems visible a little bit. Okay, so look at these three onions I just planted. Look at there's three right in a row right here. One, two, three. All right, this time I have a white onion or a yellow onion. So we're gonna plant this as well. This time we're just gonna bury it directly in the ground. We're not gonna start it in a glass jar or anything. So we'll, let's go ahead and set this next to the other purple onions. Let's go right next to the purple onions I have right here. Let's go right down here. bury this under that mulch a couple inches down a few inches okay now you can see that so it's about two inches under the dirt and about two inches more mulch on top of that like that wow I'm just scraping that dirt away I just want to show you what it looks like just simply planting it directly into the dirt. There's no need to start the start the roots in inside when they'll just grow perfectly fine right out here. So let me just try to dig this one up. Let's see if we can get this onion out. I really hate disturbing this, but I just I want to see what it looks like. that root system is. That is a healthy, healthy root system. 
that's the yellow onion. It's still still intact as well. The ridges are coming out the top as well. That is absolutely incredible. Look at how quickly, how quickly those get rooted. You can definitely tell that's the yellow onion. And also the stem would be purple if it was a purple onion. Okay, that's pretty amazing. I think that was only like a couple weeks. Okay, let's try to dig this, do this one right here. This purple onion here. I'm gonna put these in another container. Okay, we planted it right there. So let's cover it up a little bit. Okay, let's remember where that is. this one looks like whoa look at that look at that okay that's the purple onion that root system is looking incredible as well so as soon as these food scraps hit the dirt they just start growing like crazy it's that electromagnetic connection to the earth plants always do better just directly in the ground look at that yeah plants always seem to do better directly planted in the ground okay there's the purple onion the white onion or the yellow you can see the difference in the stem color these ones have a purple so we'll transplant these in another location where there's a little bit more sun as well. And we'll see how these turn out. Pretty cool. Okay, I got a container here. We're gonna plant these two onions just right into a container. And we'll go ahead and drop this back in right there. And ideally I like to grow these in the ground, but um, just for this experimental reasons, we'll, we'll do them in the container just to compare because we'll be harvesting some of these onions over here. I got a lot more purple onions in this area. Okay, let's go ahead and start backfilling around this. This soil over here is very fertile as well. I've been burying food scraps. Uh, I brought in a bunch of compost. So this soil is very rich in organic matter, which is very important. Now this potting soil, I should probably add some organic matter because this is used potting soil. And um, I'll probably add some compost, maybe some worm castings as well. Because this is particularly why that soil is doing so well. There's years of mulch um, that I've laid down. So my, my soil around my garden is really good. That's why things grow so quickly. Okay, let's water this and we'll just set it. We're gonna set it right here, right next to this other plant and just see how it does growing in containers. See how these onions do growing in containers versus um, in directly in the ground. Now, if you are growing in containers, try to set your your pot, your container directly. Hey, look at that grub. Look at that guy. Set it right on the ground. That way worms and the grubs and other insects can get into the pot and it's connected to the earth. So if you can't plant directly in the ground, plant in a container that's um, kind of recessed in with mulch around it. That'll be the, your second best bet. Okay, let's go ahead and water this. Soak these real good. Again, I'm gonna give them probably some compost, maybe some worm castings in there. Okay, we'll check on this a little bit later. We're gonna be harvesting a bunch of onions though. I'm gonna plant these all around the property. Every time I use an onion I'm gonna regrow it so no need to throw your onion scraps in the trash just put them in the garden and just watch them grow okay guys let's do some 
clean up. We'll check this a little later.